I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave! <laughs> I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. Don't worry. We do this sort of thing often. Impressive. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, and so chose wisely. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. Anso's job did seem a little too easy. Perhaps the deception was unnecessary. If so, I'm sorry. I've become too accustomed to hiding. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. All that for an empty chest? No, there's more. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Denarius wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Kunari mage, a personal pet to mock Kunari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a long night. I will find a way to repay you, I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> the truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys' choice, one he now regrets. Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay, but I doubt that matters any longer. I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. You should know some of my companions are mages. I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. 
If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Daenerys used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I can't imagine why they would be put off. You say what's on your mind. I'll give you that. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> hmm. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? Even if I wanted to, Kirkwall is my home now. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You've been on the run a long time then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Daenerys will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Ansa would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Maybe I should be thanking Ansa. Maybe you should. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. Those papers weren't easy to forge, you know. I appreciate your assistance. Why don't you just sell the blighted place and be done with it? Sentimental reasons? Have it your way, Hawk. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You start over. Isn't that what you want? I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. I might be able to help with your problems. Or give you a few more. <laughs> Only a few. 
The good kind. Tempting. You're a beautiful woman, Hawk. Is there no one else who has your attention? Do you see anyone else here? I'm an escaped slave and an elf living in a borrowed mansion. None of those things bother you. And I'm a refugee as well as a human. Does that bother you? You have me there. You raise an interesting point. I'll have to consider it. Last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? The anniversary of my escape. Astia Vala Fermundis. Care to hear the story? I enjoy listening to you talk. <laughs> there are few pleasures greater than speaking with a beautiful woman. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan? The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Daenerys during a Kunari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. I thought Daenerys considered you valuable. <laughs> he wasn't given a choice. The look on his face as the ship pulled out was priceless. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Daenerys finally came for me. Were you with these Fog Warriors willingly? I'd grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I killed them all. Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had returned and this, this fantasy life was over. But once it was done, I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran and never looked back. I have to wonder why you stayed with Daenerys as long as you did. You have not been a slave. A slave does not dream of freedom or wonder at possibilities. You think only of your master's desires and what the next hour will bring. It did not occur to me that I could be anything else until I had a taste of it. But there are stories of slaves rebelling all the time. They did in Kirkwall. The ritual that gave me my markings also stripped me of my memory. Whatever I was before may as well have never been. Perhaps if I knew, I might have felt differently. How well did you know these Fog Warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time, I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. I was in awe of them, and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. Didn't Daenerys stop you? The rebels had wounded him. The soldiers he brought attempted to capture me, unsuccessfully. It was weeks before Daenerys was able to mount the hunt in earnest, but by then, I was already gone. This can't be easy to talk about. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. It might mean more than that. I... have never allowed anyone too close. When my markings were created, the pain was... extraordinary, and the memory lingers. But you are unlike any woman I have ever met. With you, it might be different. We could find out. On another evening, perhaps. A last toast, then. To the Fallen!
I have something for you. It... it's a book. I see your eyesight is still working fine. The book is by Shartan, the elf who helped Andraste free the slaves. You know about him, right? A little. It's just... slaves are not permitted to read. I've never learned. It's not too late to learn, Fenris. Isn't it? Sometimes I wonder. I don't mean to seem ungrateful. I do appreciate the thought. I've always wanted to learn more of Shartan. Perhaps this is my chance. We must be careful. There were many such holdings once, especially in the mountains where individual slavers kept private pens. They were designed to protect against raids by fellow slavers. No doubt it's why Hadriana chose this place. Do slavers attack each other often? They did. What better way to find slaves than to steal them? The holdings outside of Tevinter have mostly been abandoned, but they still exist. Hadriana won't escape us. Let's hope this isn't a waste of time. Stop! You do not want me dead! There is only one person I want dead more. I have information, Elf. And I will trade it in return for my life. Ha! <laughs> the location of Daenerys. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes, you have my word. Her name is Verania. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Araman. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. We are done here. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. This could be a trap. Daenerys could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, trying to find her would still be suicide. Daenerys has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot. And all the other mages with her. And here I thought you were unreasonable. Maybe we should leave. Don't comfort me. You saw what was done here. There's always going to be some reason, some excuse why mages need to do this. Even if I found my sister, who knows what the magisters have done to her? What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I need to go. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. I took out my anger on you, undeservedly so. I was not myself. I'm sorry. I had no idea where you went. I was concerned. I needed to be alone. When I was still a slave, Hadriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, hound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. What do you mean? This hate. I thought I'd gotten away from it. But it dogs me no matter where I go. To feel it again. To know it was they who planted it inside me. It was too much to bear. Ah, but I didn't come here to burden you further. You don't need to leave, Fenris.
Was it that bad? I'm sorry, it's not... It was fine. No, that is insufficient. It was better than anything I could have dreamed. Oh? I can come up with much crazier things in my dreams. I began to remember my life before. Just flashes. It's too much. This is too fast. I, I cannot do this. Your life before? What do you mean? I've never remembered anything from before the ritual, but there were faces, words. For just a moment, I could recall all of it, and then it slipped away. If it brings your memory back, maybe we need to do it more often. Perhaps you don't realize how upsetting this is. I've never remembered anything, and to have it all come back in a rush only to lose it. I can't. I can't. We can work through this. I'm sorry. I feel like such a fool. All I wanted was to be happy. Just for a little while. Forgive me. Then it's her. An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Fenhedis, fast of us! Maybe it's just me, but I'd swear you're upset. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. I thought you said there was no point in meeting her. I can't simply leave it like this. I have to know. If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there. For the next week, at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. It really is, Hugh. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while Mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... I'll give you three guesses. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris, don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then? The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Daenerys! <sighs> the word is master. <laughs> you are no longer my master. I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister? Your sister's a mage? You bloody hypocrite. You really are just jealous. You have no idea what we went through. 
what I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Wait, don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? Your sister's as much a victim as you were. Elf, uh, Fenris, I know how hard this is to believe, but this is the last thing you want to do. Get out. You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. I'm here, Fenris. You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean, like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. You don't need to stay in this pit anymore, you know. Not that you haven't, uh, fixed it up nicely. It's falling apart, and my ability to keep the Seneschal from noticing is nearing an end. I appreciate what you've done, Eveline. But you're staying. You could go anywhere now. Perhaps I don't wish to go anywhere. Freedom must be a terrible burden, I guess. They don't understand. Yes, I am free. Daenerys is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. Seems like you should be dancing for joy. I would have thought so. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? My sister is gone, and I have nothing. Not even an enemy. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? Wherever it leads. I hope it means we'll stay together. That is my hope, as well. We have never discussed what happened between us three years ago. You didn't want to talk about it. I felt like a fool. I thought it better if you hated me. I deserve no less. But it isn't better. That night... I remember your touch as if it were yesterday. I should have asked your forgiveness long ago. I hope you can forgive me now. I need to understand why you left, Fenris. I've thought about the answer a thousand times. The pain, the memories it brought up, it was too much. I was a coward. If I could go back, I would stay. Tell you how I felt. What would you have said? Nothing could be worse than the thought of living without you. Oh, I don't know. This might be fun to hold over you a while longer. If there is a future to be had, I will walk into it gladly at your side. Take a look at this. A Blade of Mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. 
So they sell these things at every market stand in Minrathus? Hardly. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fondly. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man and not rule over him. In the Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chantry as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. They do as they please, all of them. So they all use forbidden magic? The more powerful the mage, the higher he rises in the Senate. He makes the laws, he determines what is acceptable. Everyone who wishes to compete must do the same or be crushed. Perhaps it wasn't always this way, but it is now. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinter would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end... poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Saharan, which they have. The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island, without real success. I believe the Kunari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Kunari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Sir Heron, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. This could come in handy. Without a doubt. I certainly don't want anything to do with it. I hope you're prepared for what we're about to face. Desperation will drive these mages to terrible acts. I have seen it before. It will not be pretty. What do you mean? The Imperium has its own Templars, and they too must act when mages cross the line. The line is in a different place, but the end result is the same. We will see abominations born of terror and wrath, men you never believed capable of depravity embracing it gladly. Abominations and blood mages? Hmm, sounds like Tuesday. <laughs> it does sound that way, doesn't it? I... may not get the chance to say this again. Meeting you was the most important thing that ever happened to me, Hawk. Promise me you won't die. I can't bear the thought of living without you. I didn't quite catch that. Could you speak up? Then let me make it clearer for you. As for the rest of us, eventually we all left the champion's side for one reason or another. Well, all of us except for Fenris. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. The legend had been 